In the starting of the movie, we are shown the Kate which is the English teacher. Kate is teaching in class and only then, she sees that a child is secretly reading a comic. Kate picks up the kid and asks him to read the comic in front of everyone. When the boy is reading a comic, then Kate starts getting interest in the comic. But then there the principal of school comes and sees all this, and he calls Kate in his office and indirectly asks him to leave the job. Then on the other side we are shown a girl named Megan, who is a sales girl and she tries to sell cosmetic product in the company. But Megan is not able to sell the cosmetic product, so Megan goes from there in anger. Then when she comes out of that company, Megan sees that the policemen are taking her car, because Megan has given her car no parking. After that Kate comes home from school, then we learn that both Megan and Kate are best friends and they live together. Kate comes home and sees Megan dancing to the shock of her life being wasted. And then Megan tells Kate how her day went in vain and not a single product was sold. His car was picked up by the police from no parking and then Kate also tells him that principal has also asked him to leave the teaching job. Then the next day Megan picks up Kate at 4 o'clock um and tells him is that we should go somewhere. Kate tells Megan that we will talk about this in the morning but Megan says that our flight is in 3 hours. Kate did not want to go but Megan had already booked the ticket so Kate should accompany her after reaching the airport. He sees that the line of checking is very long and if he stays in this line then his flight will definitely be missed. Then Megan looks here and there and starts flirting with a boy working there and he lets them go ahead without waiting in line. Then both of them are in the plane. Sit on their seat Kate sits on the window seat and Megan sits on the seat because Kate was afraid of height. So Kate takes anxiety pill. After some time a boy comes and sits on the seat between these two. Who was a firefighter and both Megan and Kate like that boy very much. And both start flirting with him during the fight. But due to taking more pills. Kate faints there then the captain of the plane tells that due to the storm in Florida. The flight will have to land in St. Louis. The two then book a room at a hotel called Shelter in St. Louis until the next flight arrives. Then there the reception of Cloud Hotel informs him that his bag has been lost at the airport. After this, Kate and I go to the lift to go to our room and they see Ryan there. Megan tells her that your friend has a wedding, so what are you doing here? So Ryan tells her that there are still a few more days left for the wedding. Ryan then asks them if they can go out for drinks with him later and they both agree to it. Now in her room, Megan remembers that her bag has been lost, so she asks Kate if I I can wear your dress and go. On hearing this, Kate says that I have only one dress and Kate refuses to give that dress. Then we are shown that Kate goes to meet Ryan alone at night. So Ryan asks him where Megan is. Then Kate says that they do not know, that they are talking. Only then he sees that Megan is coming there, wearing the Indian traditional dress of Anuja's mother. And Ryan gets surprised to see Megan, because she looked so beautiful. Then Ryan receives news that the storm has intensified, due to which his flight will be delayed even more. In this, Ryan gets depressed and to cheer him up, Meg and Kate do dance competitions around him. Megan gets very excited while dancing and her dress falls down. So embarrassed by this, all the three hotels come back. And in the hotel, Kate and Megan start fighting for Ryan. Then the next day, all three of them plan to go on a hot air balloon. But Kate was afraid of height. So Ryan says thinking that it is not necessary for us to go on hot air balloon. But Megan tells her that it doesn't matter. We can both go on a hot air balloon and Kate will go to the museum. Kate didn't want to let Megan go alone with Ryan, so she also agrees to come. As he sits in the balloon, so Kate gets very scared. Then the man flying the balloon tells Kate. Now we is at a height of 500 feet. And Kate gets very scared after hearing this. And then Ryan tries to calm her down. Then Megan when champagne bottle opens. So the cap of the bottle goes on the remaining eye of the captain of the hot air balloon. Due to which his other eye also falls out. That's why they have to land the hot air balloon in the children's party. Then all three of them come to the hotel. And then he decides to go pool. Now to impress Ryan in the pool. Both of them wear very revealing dresses. Then to impress Ryan. They both put dives in the pool and during this time Megan's eye gets hurt. Then the next day they both go to the cafe. In. Been drinking juice. Only then he sees that Ryan is going somewhere with a bag. They both go to him and ask where are you going. Then Ryan tells that I am going to the wedding. After this Megan and Kate ask Ryan if he too can go with him. For which Ryan agrees. And then everyone starts going to the car and this car is being driven by a guy named Craig who liked Megan very much. On the way, Megan applies lotion on Ryan's hands. Kate gets jealous seeing this. So Kate shows the driver a childhood photo of Megan in which she was looking very strange. And they stop on the way to refill petrol. And goes to use Kate lavatory. So she sees that the lavatory is very dirty. But still she uses that lavatory. But closes the door of Megan lavatory from outside. Due to which Kate gets stuck inside. Then somehow Kate comes out of a window. But during this time all his clothes get dirty. When Ryan sees her. So Ryan asks him. That what happened. 
So Kate tells that someone had locked him inside the lavatory. After this, Kate cleans itself, and everyone starts going to the wedding place. On the way, Kate intentionally pretends to be hurt, and Ryan gives him a massage. And seeing this, Megan gets very angry. That's why Megan puts sleeping pills in the wine bottle, and she gives Kate the wine to drink. But Kate refuses to drink it. Then Craig snatches the bottle of wine from Megan's hands, and he drinks the whole bottle of wine. Seeing this, Megan tells Craig, if you've been driving a car for a long time, you're probably tired. That's why I drive the car. But hearing this, Craig tells Megan that he doesn't need anyone. Now after a while all three fall asleep. And Craig also falls asleep while driving. And in the meantime, Craig hits the signboard. And those people stay in the hotel. And Kate sees the sleeping pills in the wine bottle. After which, Kate books a separate room for herself in the hotel. Then after some time, Kate goes to have a cold drink. So Kate meets Ryan there. So Ryan says to Kate, that you were always with your friend, and I didn't even get a chance to talk to you in private. And then, by saying this, Ryan starts to kiss Kate. And then they go to both the rooms and get intimate there. On the other hand, Megan is drinking alone in the local bar. And then Craig comes to him. And then both talk for a while. The next morning during breakfast, Megan says, that we shouldn't spoil our friendship behind a guy. But at the same time, mistakenly, Megan tells Kate, that she was intimate with Ryan. And then Kate gets very angry, knowing this. And they both start fighting with each other. Then in the midst of this fight, a cupboard falls on both of them. Then Craig takes out Kate and Megan. And the owner of that hotel does it from their report to police. Then Craig tells the police that Ryan stole his car to make it to the wedding on time. When Craig checks Ryan's profile, he finds out. That today is not someone else's marriage but Ryan's marriage. Megan and Kate were arrested by the police. She tells both the police that she will pay back whatever damage she has done. Just let them go to Ryan's wedding and tell the truth to his future wife, which will break his marriage, and then the police agrees after hearing this. Then both of them cap and reach the hotel, but both of them go there and find out that Ryan is already married. Then he sees Ryan, and Ryan starts running after seeing both of them, but they both catch him. She tells Ryan that you have taken advantage of both of us, but Ryan says that both of you were flirting with me from the beginning, and Ryan tells them that I am with this girl since college starting, and please don't ruin this marriage. Now Ryan's wife comes there, and both of them see that Ryan's wife is very strict, and she always suppresses Ryan and she makes him agree all her things. Seeing this, Megan and Kate wonder what could be better for Ryan, as he will regret a lot after marriage. Thinking this, Megan and Kate return to the airport. They learn that their flight is four hours later. So Megan goes to Craig's shop to meet him. There, Megan and Craig talk for a while, and then Megan kisses Craig. After this, Megan comes to the airport and tells Kate that maybe we should not live together anymore. That doesn't mean we won't meet anymore. We will meet more than ever before, and Kate also says yes to this. She then goes back to school and tells the principal that she will not leave her job. Hearing this, the principal tells him that who asked you to leave the job, on the contrary, I want you to become the coach of the volleyball team. Kate agrees on hearing this. On the other hand, Megan gets into a relationship with Craig and the movie ends here.